Hey, hi, hello besties and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daphne if you're new here and I'm so excited because today is the day of Era's tour Taylor Swift. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. I just did my makeup and I'm gonna put all the sparkles on and everything and then change into my dress right now. I just have this marble shirt on and change into my dress. I'm so excited, I can't believe that's here. If you don't know or if you're new here or follow along, um, I've been <laughs> vlogging kind of my experience so far. So I vlogged what I got in my VIP box for the LA tour and then I also just vlogged making the bracelets. Oh my gosh, sorry. All of it's like blending together. I vlogged making bracelets and making t-shirts for the show, but the day is here. Let's go to Taylor Swift Harris tour. <laughs> oh my gosh, so I have my outfit. I'm going as Fearless Era Taylor. I'll give you all a full outfit reveal like once I step outside and everything. But oh my gosh, I have the 13 on my hand and all of the glitter. We are so sparkly. I have my bracelets I don't want to trade on my hand and then all of my bracelets in my purse to trade. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Now it's just the countdown of getting ready to go. The stadium opens at 4.30 and I'm leaving at like 2.30 and I'll grab something to eat beforehand before going in because stadium food can be pretty expensive and sometimes not worth it. And to be honest, I'm not planning on eating there because Taylor's whole um, set is like three and a half hours long. So I'm not really planning on leaving at all during that three and a half hours. So um, yeah, so I'm gonna get merch beforehand and everything. And then obviously see the band that goes on beforehand and everything too. But yeah, so probably just gonna grab something to eat near where we are parking. So um, so far you have to park like around the stadium. So we are doing that and then yeah, yeah, oh my gosh, it's happening. So we just finished eating at Chili's. We were gonna try and go to Red Lobster, but I had a 40 minute wait. And look at this shirt on. <laughs> it looks so great, oh my gosh. And we both have our bracelet. Oh wait, there, there, we go. there it is. We both have our bracelets, oh my gosh. And now we're on our way to the stadium for Taylor. <laughs> so exciting, like literally everyone in the Chili's was dressed for Taylor heading there. Like 80% of the restaurant was for Taylor. Like, <laughs> it was insane. It looked like we literally like bought out the restaurant or something. Oh wait, can you show my full outfit? Can you hold this? My whole outfit. So we just made it to the stadium. We just parked where I love seeing everyone's outfits outside and then we're gonna get some merchandise outside. So I heard all of the lines inside are extremely long and I don't wanna miss her going on or anything while buying merch. So I'm gonna get my merch now and got merch and then dropping it off at the car before heading in I'm gonna show y'all what I got so I got the Taylor half zip that is the Eras one that has the whole Eras background on it and then it says the Eras tour on the sleeve and then it says Taylor Swift on the other sleeve then of course had to get the classic Eras tour t-shirt as well where it says it on the side and then on the back it has all the dates and then all the albums as well so it's exactly like the VIP bag where it had the same background as well so yay go Taylor so I just made their security we got our light up wristbands Oh, oh my gosh, right here. Oh my gosh, we just went through. It's right behind us. Oh my gosh. This is the merch line inside. We waited outside and we waited maybe like 20 minutes. That looks like basically like an hour. But oh my gosh, look, there's Taylor. Era's tour. It's happening. Oh my god, we're heading right inside now. I'm so excited. Like I said we got our light up bracelets and we're ready to go. Yay, go Taylor. <laughs> So this was my very first time being at SoFi Stadium. It was so exciting to be there. I had no idea there was a YouTube theater there also. That was pretty cool. It was absolutely gorgeous, especially being there at Magic Hour. Like right now, Racing Abrams was playing. It was very, well, it was actually her last night being on the Eras tour. So it was really exciting seeing her. She went on before Heim did. The stadium, oh gosh, look at all those people. And I heard that it was a sold out show. It was like, I think 70,000 people can fit there. That is so insane. Oh, that was completely sold out. That's so wild. And so there it is getting ready for Taylor. And then we kind of stepped outside on the balcony and just saw more of like the stadium, saw more people's outfits, kind of 
just hanging out outside and everything. Look at how gorgeous it is. I just love the architecture of the building. It reminds me of like a bird's nest or something. And then when we're outside, we saw more of the merch lines. Y'all, that looked like it was like an hour and a half or so. And then we got upstairs and got to our seats because it was so ready for Taylor to play. Oh my gosh, applause play. And then we moved as a countdown for her. I hadn't 
been on tour in five years. And that is, in case you didn't know, five years is a very long time. Um, I, I, I think um, it's kind of inferred that it wasn't a choice. You know, we had a global pandemic and there were a lot more important issues at hand that everybody had to deal with and think about. Um, other than live music, but I really missed you guys, and I was I was thinking during that time away, like how do I keep that connection going? Because you mean so much to me, and <laughs> well, like honestly, you just you validate a lot of emotions that I have um, when I'm alone, and uh, I sort of you know I sort of gaslight myself into thinking I must be the only person to have ever felt that way. And then you guys are like, oh no, I like that song. I to it, and then I just go, oh, really? It wasn't, it wasn't just me that felt that way, that was you too. <laughs> and then I feel better, so you're really part of the, the process. Um, but yeah, so I figured, how do I keep the connection going that we have, that we built over um, 17 years that I've been putting out music? And so I just decided, um, I just decided, you know, maybe I'll just um, put out and create as many albums as humanly possible in this time.
Hey y'all, it is the next day after the concert. As you can tell, my voice is like gone after like scream, yelling, singing along for like three and a half hours and then dancing for those three and a half hours. I'm so sore, I'm so tired. My voice is gone, but also it was the best time ever. It was so incredible. Oh my gosh, it was literally the best experience ever. It was like being with 70,000 of my best friends. Like everyone was dressed up, everyone was there obviously for the same thing and such a huge fan and just the energy. Everyone singing, everyone dancing, and we're exchanging with all the bracelets. I'm just like still speechless from it. Like it was just so freaking cool. Oh my gosh, like everything about it. Her obviously performing was so incredible. I was so excited to hear all of her little takes in between the songs, like her talking about everything. Um, and just her thoughts and everything was just so cool. There was like an eight minute ovation. Champagne Problems, the song, sorry, I like blinked. Um, for Champagne Problems and that was so cool. She had no idea what to do, like that was so special. Um, I'm wearing my shirt from last night too. Um, yeah, I wanted to wear my sweatshirt, so I'm just so tired. I wanted to wear my sweatshirt, but it's still too warm out in LA. It's like super hot out, so. I have to wait for that. It was unlike any experience ever. Oh my gosh, it was so unreal. She's so talented, such a talented singer, dancer, everything, all of the stage production, the outfits. It was just absolutely unreal. <laughs> it was so cool. Like I wish it like I could implement like my memories into y'all so you know what it was like. Like it was just so freaking incredible. Light up bracelets were so cool. They gave one to everyone when you first walked in and then they just went along with the whole show and that was so cool and so special. I'm so glad we got our merch when we first got there, like the merch table outside, because the ones inside, the lines looked insane. And then when Applause, the Lady Gaga song played, um, that's when we knew that Taylor was gonna come on next. The energy completely changed. Everyone was like cheering. And we were talking in between all the songs was so cute. Um, I love her so much. It was just so special. Oh my gosh, I so many bracelets. I still have like, more of the bracelets over here and everything. Oh, that one over here and everything. Um, I'm probably gonna just wear like a couple of them, but I was still so excited from last night. Kept all them on. I had so much glitter on me. Oh my gosh, it was insane. So much glitter, so many sequins. It was so cool. Oh my gosh, and just everyone dressed. Oh my gosh, I know what you're talking about. Everyone dressed up was so incredible. Everyone in like their smart dresses, dresses like an era, like a Taylor lyric, um, outfits inspired by. Taylor's outfits, it was just all so freaking cool. And then because my boyfriend was wearing the Junior Jewel shirt that I made him, all the other people with Junior Jewel shirts, it was like, just so cool. It just felt like we're like all just part of like this huge club. Like I said, it literally felt like being, hanging out with like 70,000 of my best friends, seeing our best friend perform. Like that's how it felt. <laughs> Sorry, they're doing a lot of construction now um, in my building. So I guess that's all I'm gonna, I can say about it. Um, it was just so freaking incredible. It was unlike any experience ever. Thank you all so much for watching like my prep kind of era tour vlogs and everything also. And then experience all this content with me and just being there, I feel like, sh to show y'all along also. Incredible. Um, I don't think I'm gonna try and make it to the shows in 2024. I feel like seeing her this time was so perfect and I want other people to experience seeing Taylor also. I feel like I was really lucky to be able to get tickets in the pre-sale. So I'm good. I mean, I don't fault anyone for like wanting to see her multiple times. I mean, I totally get it. She's so freaking incredible. And I mean, I would love to also, but also I, because of like the whole ticket fiasco, I really want other people to be able to experience it too. So yeah, I hope that you get tickets. If you try to get tickets or let me know how your experience was, what your shows were like, what your surprise song, oh, our surprise songs were I Know Places and It Came Up My Heart. Oh my gosh, I'll just never get over it. It literally was the best and most insane concert I've ever been to. Yeah, it was just so incredible. Thank you all so much, like I said, for just joining, being a part of this journey and everything with me. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.